All right, guys, we're kicking off the fall season with Oktoberfest beers. Usually when we talk Oktoberfest, we need one of these, a Moss. That's what this is, it's a liter. This is what you drink in the tents. But we're not going to Oktoberfest. I know, it sucks, but what are we gonna do? So we bring Oktoberfest to us. We get a buzz with your cuz. If you're 21, proceed. So, when German immigrant uh, David Yingling showed up in Pottstown, Pennsylvania and opened a brewery, I don't think it dawned on him that it would become America's oldest brewery, over 100 years, uh, over 180 years old now. They even did non-alcoholic beer during Prohibition just to keep going, and some dairy stuff too. So they uh, definitely uh, ingrained themselves in, in American heritage and culture, which is great. But what they also brought with them is beer. So Yingling, again, over 180 years old. Uh, you know, the oldest brewery in Germany is like from 1066 or 1040, so it's almost a thousand years old. But that doesn't mean that this isn't a good product. So we're gonna check it out, Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's a Marzen. Right, so it's created in March. It's a little bit stronger of a beer. Uh, before refrigeration, they uh, kind of ramped up the alcohol percentage so that the beer would last. And then the, the final um, batch of this beer would be drank in, in uh, Oktoberfest. So September, so September, uh, October timeframe. So we're gonna judge this in a couple of different ways. First thing, we don't need a pop top. This is a, this is a screw top. So, uh, you know, a twist off. See there, nicely apportioned, great advertisement. Uh, so we're gonna judge this, A, against a traditional uh, German Oktoberfest beer. We're gonna see if it has that same dark hue from the, from the malt of uh, Vienna and, uh, and Munich they're known for. Uh, we're going to see if it has that toasty sweetness that we expect from a Marzen. And, uh, or is it a clean, smooth lager, right? That's also uh, something that you would look for in an Oktoberfest beer. So uh, let's go ahead and, and give it the first look. Let's take a look. Definitely has the caramel malt. It almost looks toasty, toasted malt. Has the smell. Put a little bit more in there. Okay. Definitely better out of the glass. Uh, the smell is definitely, um, it matches the taste, so it kind of makes it a, a, a better experience for this particular beer. A great way to celebrate the fall months coming in. It has a little bit more hop, hoppy bitterness to it than I'd expect out of a, a German Oktoberfest beer, right? So some of your traditionals that we're, all, we're gonna do them all, as many as we can, right? Uh, but the German ones, we're gonna get at least, uh, at least a six served at Oktoberfest. And uh, this, again, again, it's not bad. It is slightly different than what you'd expect from a German beer. Uh, I, I don't think that, uh, that David Jingling would be upset at this. I think this is a pretty good uh, replica of what you would get in, in Munich in September. Yeah, it'd be good with a pretzel, maybe a bratwurst, who knows. Does have the to uh, that toasted sweetness, but it has a, that additional bitterness that makes it uh, more of a craftier, a hoppy, uh, obviously, uh, the American version of a Marzen. Again, nothing wrong with it. Uh, we're gonna try some other ones. Yingling, you can visit their brewery in Pottstown, uh, you know, when, when COVID says it's safe and not before. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty good representation. We are going to um, rank them all at the end as far as uh, things that are made here versus, um, you know, Munich and, uh, and see kind of where we stack rank them from a taste perspective, right? Just because 
it's older or it's from somewhere it doesn't mean it's better than the other ones and vice versa. So we're off to a good start. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't you miss any of this stuff. And then uh, again, looking forward to that next one and looking forward to seeing you soon. Catch a buzz with your cuz. Until next time. Thank you.